Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 5 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. Now, we're, of course, we're heading into a cup game, as you can see on screen. Capital One Cup Actions, the first cup football of the season so far. We do, in fact, have two cup games in this episode. There is the uh, the start to the Champions League campaign coming up soon. But uh, we start away at Yeovil, and before things get going in this one, I want to say thank you again for the amazing support you guys have shown the channel over the weekend. Last Friday's uh, career mode episode didn't do as well as uh, the previous uh, previous few had. The first three are well over 100 likes now, which is absolutely superb, and over 1,000 views. So if we could hit maybe 90 to 100 likes again on this one, then that would be absolutely superb. If you guys could do that for me, I would be extremely grateful. But as you can see, Frank Lampard scores a screamer. We go 1-0 up away at the overlast for a couple of early chances. Kevin De Bruyne having the uh, the, the first chance to the corner. The corner comes about, and then uh, Lampard's there. Just a standing swing with the outside of the right foot. Not really too much backlift, but gets the power behind it like Frank Lampard has the ability to do to uh, to put this 1-0 up right into the top-hand corner. Kevin De Bruyne's going to be involved again, taking this corner. It's going to come in and Sammy Leto's actually going to win the header as the defender falls to the ground but it comes back off the bar so uh, we went in at half time 1-0 up and uh, Yeovil were decent opposition actually I'll give them credit they they had definitely put up a fight and were quite solid defensively apart from a couple of uh, a couple of clear cut chances that we, we, uh, we were able to create but Willian's going to whip the crossing from this right hand side up goes Varane picks up his first goal for the club since signing from Real Madrid and a uh, delighted for him to be honest I played players uh, like Varane and Kevin De Bruyne etc in this uh, in this game and Willie and you know the new signings to give them a feel of what lower league football is like in England what it's like to play these early rounds of an English domestic cup so uh, I was pleased that they rose to the challenge and uh, were able to get uh, or put in good performances Andre Scherler came close here again decent shot with his left foot I tried to play that with his right but he took it a little bit earlier than I wanted him to and it swept across that far left hand side but uh, fortunately that was the uh, the end result we're going to progress through to the next round of the Capital One Cup with a 2-0 win over Yeovil so we actually have Everton in the next game in that competition but we get some bad news William's broken his ankle out on international duty with Brazil which is absolutely devastating considering uh, he's been playing very very well for us in, uh, in all honesty but uh, like I said earlier on we're coming into Champions League football now we've got Zenit St. Petersburg at home we also have uh, AC Milan and Olympiacos in our group but Hulk was an absolute thorn in my side in the opening 20 minutes. Two minutes in, he has a f his first chance there. Decent effort, played through really, really nicely. Ashley Cole didn't track the run, and uh, he was will be disappointed with the fact that he wasn't able to hit the target. And again, this time from Reigns, again on that solid left foot. Hulk was actually linked with Chelsea in real life for uh, for quite a... well basically for about two years now every single transfer window we seem to be linked with him especially when he was at Porto but of course he chose to go to Russia whether that was financially uh, financially motivated we're not too sure but they came close again there if he'd have taken that with his right foot perhaps waited for it to come across his body swept it under the goalkeeper as he was diving we could have found ourselves 1-0 down there but nonetheless we push further on into the first half they can't get their lines clear Mata plays into Torres decent save and unfortunately the follow up isn't able to get there the goalkeeper clears it to uh, to a defender rather than the on-rushing striker but Torres has another effort there and you'll see from the replay here this deflection could have gone anyway it was going straight towards the goalkeeper and if it had taken a bigger deflection that could easily have swung right into the top right hand corner so uh, we were unfortunate there not to take the lead through that but we went in a half time at nil nil but I was confident having kind of stemmed the flow of their chances early on that we were going to be able to push on in the second half and get a positive result out of this one and that David Luiz is going to play a lovely lofted through ball towards Eden Hazard he's actually going to cut back in side and uh, find David Luiz again with a nice one too and unfortunately he scuffs the effort keeper again probably should have held on to that one but uh, for a second time in the game palms the ball pushes the ball away from the uh, away from the goal but towards a defender crucially as opposed to pushing it towards another striker and uh, Torres whipped the effort there unfortunately went just wide but uh, that was going to be his last involvement in the game I was going to take him off and bring on Essien and Andre Shirley in a triple substitution that saw, as you can see, Diego Costa coming onto the pitch as well. And it was the two substitutes that linked up very, very well indeed for our first goal of the game. Andre Scherler breaking down the right-hand side, using his pace, whips it in, and the technique on that header is second to none. Honestly, Diego Costa, he was good on 360. He was good on quote-unquote current gen, even though I guess current gen is now next gen. But uh, on Xbox One, he is just another level of amazing. He's just 
since he's come in, he's just done nothing but score goals. 23 million for Diego Costa was an absolute steal, and I cannot recommend hi him highly enough for you to pick up on a career mode series because he's been the difference for us so far this year. Sammy Leto has not been firing on all cylinders whatsoever, still to pick up a goal for us. And uh, Fernando Torres is doing well, but still hasn't quite found his rhythm despite scoring a couple of goals. One matter comes very close there, and again, it's the substitute that gets on the uh, on the score sheet. It's Andre Scherler gets an assist for the first one, and then picks up the pieces for that second goal to give us a comfortable 2-0 victory. So that's two games so far in this one and two 2-0 victories. So we're, we're doing very, very well so far this season. We're scoring goals. We're keeping clean sheets, which again is vital in uh, in all competitions because goal difference, especially in the Premier League, can be the be-all and end-all at the end of the season. So if we can continue that run up, then I'll be very, very pleased indeed. But the uh, the game against Fulham wasn't too long after the uh, the Zenit St. Petersburg game, so I made a few changes, brought in a few rotation players. SEN got a start. Uh, Decilio and Danilo started at wing-backs. As you can see, Eden Hazard is still in the starting lineup though. Whips the ball in. Up goes Branislav Ivanovic, and that's his second-headed goal of the season. Obviously scored the third away at Manchester United with a header from a corner as well coming in off the post and this time rise as well to put the ball into the bottom corner to make it 1-0 to us against Fulham they came very very close there as well they'll be disappointed that that wasn't able to sneak in the far post I think that's Britta Hangeland and um Fulham are a decent side, you know, the uh, this South West London derby means a lot more to them than it does to Chelsea, perhaps. But uh, one thing of note, is this or is this not a penalty? I couldn't decide at the time and I was a, a little bit annoyed, but uh, I, don't, I don't think that he makes the uh, the defender there, Derek Bote, makes any attempt to play the ball. He just pushes Hazard out of the way, and I think we should have had a pen there. But let me know in the comment section what you think of that particular incident. Is it controversial, or was it just me being a little bit hopeful? But as you can see, at half-time, we were completely dominant. A bit 50-50 in possession. You know, they had a lot of the ball, but uh, they just weren't creating chances, which was good for us. And uh, the second half was actually a bit of a damp squib, unfortunately. There wasn't too many chances. A couple of uh, dodgy efforts. Lampard's going to play the ball into uh, to Michael Essien here. He's going to give it a whack. He does have a good strike from distance. If you remember the goal he scored against Arsenal quite a few years ago, it was absolutely fantastic. That that shot from behind the ball, where it swings out left to come back inside the far right hand, far left-hand post, is absolutely superb. But another scuffed shot for him there from Dimitar Berbatov is actually going to round out the uh, the second half. It's a poor second half, but the goal from that man, Branislav Ivanovic, is going to be enough to see us get another three points in the league and, of course, another clean sheet, which is extremely pleasing. So at the league table, as it stands, after four games, is we are sat third, two points behind the 100% record of Manchester City and Tottenham. But still, you know, we've only conceded two goals. We've... Uh, scored eight so our goal difference is plus six after four games which is decent I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going so far on this Chelsea career mode we're progressing nicely in the domestic cup in the capital one cup and we've picked up a decent victory in our opening champions league game as well so that is going to bring this one to a close guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind like i said if we could hit 100 again i would be over the moon but uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel then do feel free to do so so you don't miss out on any xbox one content there will be a link in the description so you can do that or an annotation on the screen over the subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode in this series there will be an annotation over the little snippet of gameplay you can see there under the word previously which of course indicates the previous episode so uh, feel free to click on that if you missed it that was last friday's video and uh, that is going to bring this one to a close like i said so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you tomorrow with episode number six